in this video, I want to talk about a concept I haven't talked a lot about in Madden 22 because it's been such a pass heavy game and such a bunch year, a year where we are just throwing the ball <laughs> at will. Um, I haven't talked a lot about this defense that I use to slow down pro sets. Now, um, for this video, we're going to talk about pro sets, not close sets in pro. So what I mean by that is like I close, we're not going to talk about that, but we are going to talk about strong slot or I pro or like single back ace, for example. We're not going to, we're going to talk about the compression sets in a different video, but we're going to talk really about like pro sets that are like spread, right? Um, if you will. So primarily strong, this, this defense will work really well for strong slot. It will also work really well for uh, I form pro, strong pro, uh, pistol weak, stuff like that. So I'm really excited about this, that how to defend two back sets. And we're going to talk about how to stop the run and stop the pass in the same video. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It's free. And we do videos like this every day that can help you get better at the game. Also, the defense we're talking about today, um, we have a very, very much so expanded on version in our Patreon. I uh, put a one hour and 15 minute update to the 335 wide defense um, in the Patreon today. And we're going to continue to add to that over the course of the next coming week. If you don't know what the Patreon is, it's basically a membership that you can get that will allow you to get all of the content that I have for Madden 22. I've got 18 offensive and defensive eBooks. You'll get instant access to every single one of those. I've got um, a ton of updates to those eBooks, a ton of just general updates to the game in terms of how we deal with this count or this glitch or whatever. Um, we have we update the Patreon probably three to four times a week with stuff like that. And then I also have the cool part about the Patreon is any additional eBook that we release while your membership's active, you'll get as well completely uh, for what you get. So the cool part is it's all inclusive. If you want to get access to it, it's only ten dollars a month. And you can cancel that whenever you'd like to. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description where you can do just that. So I haven't talked about this much, but strong slot, strong pro. Uh, I This will work for I-form. Um, it works for everything. Okay. Uh, but we're, real, we're going to focus today on strong slot and some of the concepts that they can create from this formation. And then we're also going to talk. Um, and then in the future, we're going to do a video on like... Uh, like strong to close or I close or I form twins close, right? Stuff like that. Okay. So this is primarily designed to show how to stop um, some of the core passing concepts out of these sets, as well as some of the main runs. And of course, with the 46 playbook, we're talking about three, three, five wide um, audibles. You want to have are Mike blitz three and cover four show two. Those are the audibles that you want. And then, um, you want to come out in 335 normal. Ideally, you want to go ahead and put safeties at these linebacker spots because it will allow you um, better adjustments and better speed and better coverage reactions. So we come out in this. Now, um, I want to show you Mike Blitz 3 and then I'm going to talk about Cover 4 Show 2 as well. So the cool part about Mike Blitz 3 is like, let's say they pass the ball and let's say they run a scissors concept. What you should see is the seam flat will guard the corner route, okay? And it will happen on the same side on the other side of the field. So let's say we do it to the back side here. And again, just to illustrate here, we're going to zone these guys out. Let's say they run, see this corner route to the tight end. Watch this. You see how we get really nice coverage on that as well. Now, the, the one thing I will say is, let's say that they're in a set like, so this is a twins look. Let's say they're in a strong pro. If they're in a strong pro set, what you'll see out of Mike Blitz 3 is actually it'll play a little better. Why? Because the seam flat is now taught to carry that corner up the field, okay? So when you're in a twin set, you ideally wanna play um, you I ideally want to play uh, quarters coverage because because of the fact that you're not going to get a match on this tight end if he goes unless you have this guy in a th in a, th in a um, man coverage assignment of course 
Or you could even outside quarter this guy. And I'll show you one more time here with this. You'll see here this outside quarter will kind of guard it, but not really. Okay? So what I like to do against twins is I like to play quarters. What I like to do against close set is I like to play quarters. And then what I like to do against a traditional pro set where the wide receivers are both on the outside is I'll play a lot of Mike Blitz 3 in that regard. So if it's... Um, so if it's if it's like something like this, the cover four show two works really well. Now what I like to do is actually real simple because we don't have a major major threat in terms of like you know the quarter flats are not like super necessary to be honest. So what I like to do is spread my linebackers. I like to crash my line out. I'm gonna blitz all my linebackers in QB contain. What that's going to do is it's going to contain the quarterback in the pocket, keep them from rolling out. Then what we're going to do is we're going to purple zone the defensive end or both defensive ends, and we're going to um, we're going to actually be the three red hook defender, if you will. Okay. Then on the left side, what I like to typically do is take that slot corner and man him up on the running back. Uh, because that's the guy that is likely to be on some kind of wheel route. Um, that's the guy that's going to be on some kind of problem route that we're going to need to handle. What you're going to see here is if I play action, I can't roll out now, and my corner route is taken away to the tight end. I can't throw it. Okay. Now, it, let's say they motion this guy over. Let's say they motion um, this guy over to be on a streak. Well, now I'm going to audible to Mike Blitz 3, spread linebackers. I've already got them on a contain, right? I've already got the seam flat that I need. So now all I need to do is, um, now all I need to do with this is just simply take this defensive end on the right side of the screen and man him up on, I man these guys up on running backs. Just something like this. Real simple, real basic. But what you'll see is, this right here will play really well against a pro set. Okay, really well against a pro set. So that's kind of how I defend the passing that most people are going to do. And there is a way to adapt this. So let's say you're playing something like this, where you get a single back and now the fullback is a tight end. We're going to basically do the same thing. Okay, we're in quarters coverage. Um, I like the contain that I get there. I don't have a major, major threat in terms of a slot on both sides of the field. So then that allows me to play something like this right here. This is a decent coverage. And then if you want to, um, if you want to, you can bluff blitz that nose tackle, have that three wreck. So now you've got really good contain and you've got the ability to stop basic concepts, right? One of the many things people are going to do is something like this is a very basic route combo. And you see that we really defend it fairly well, and it gives us the freedom to cover any kind of middle of the field um, crossing, to, crossing route. So we can do that against multiple sets, okay? Um, but that's how I like to contain the quarterback. You spread the linebackers, you contain them, and then you can zone out your interior lineman just like this. And now let's say they run the ball. Well, if they run the ball, you see that it's going to widen out. It's going to funnel the run to the middle of the field. They have to run the ball um, in the least efficient way, which is to run the ball in the middle of the field. So power O, for example, same exact defense. And what you'll see here is you get a real nice lane to shoot on the middle, and you can contain that run fairly easily. So power row and stretch, you don't really have to worry about. Um, and then the dive is the run that you have to worry about. If they run a dive right at your face, you see here that it can be good. So how do you stop the dive? If they're running the ball, if they're a little bit more run heavy of a team, then what I would recommend is purpling both of the outside linebackers and then manning up the slot on the guy. So it looks like this this is fine and you can still spread them um, and it will still play good coverage and you now have the curl flat defenders as rollout defenders and then you're just coming down into the gap there was a poor user but you're just shooting the gap to contain the run uh, in my opinion if you're playing someone that's really really run heavy 
Yes, you will need to kind of maybe run a little bit more aggressive defense, but the one thing I will say is most runners aren't very patient. So if you can kind of contain them and force them to just take two yards, you don't. This year's game, the fullback is a little better than he's been in years past. So, you know, you need to kind of keep that in mind. But there are situations where you can go ahead and send five and just do something like this. So very good defense to me for stopping the run and for stopping the pass. And then I gave a little bit of an ex explanation as far as how to stop the rollout. Another little trick that you can do with the rollout out of this cover four defense is we don't need, we only need one quarter zone over here because there's only one receiving threat, right? So what we can easily do with this is we can go ahead and go ahead and do our contain deal that I was teaching like this. And then what we can do is we can actually take this guy and spy him. And that's really gonna lock down a lot of the rollout stuff because now you got great contain and you got a spy in the middle of the field that is fast enough to actually keep up with the quarterback. So that's a great little tactic as well for defending the mobile quarterbacks. That's the video. Thanks for watching. If you want to get all of the ebooks and everything for this, all the expanded upon versions of stuff, link is in the description below for the membership. The membership is super cheap. It's only 10 bucks and you get so much with it. So uh, I would really encourage you to sign up for that. Again, there's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time.